To repair the RMW and SRMW pump, you will need these tools. Repairing the pump requires several kits. Kits may vary depending on the pump. Check our website for which kit is right for you. To replace the discharge valves, start by taking off the three valve caps on the side of the pump using a 14 mm hex socket. Take out the three discharge valves with a pair of pliers. Grasp the plastic valve cage and pull straight out. Take the new valves and place them squarely into the port. Firmly press down and make sure they're all the way in. Reapply the valve caps and torque to 221 inch pounds. To replace the water seals and inlet valves, start by removing the three head bolts on the pump. Once the bolts are removed, you can easily remove the head of the pump. If the old seals stick to the pistons, twist and pull to get them off. If they didn't stick to the pistons, use a pick to carefully take them out of the manifold. Now, use the pliers to take out the old inlet valves. Place the new valves in and secure them with a 6mm hex socket. While securing the valves, make sure not to scratch the interior of the pump. Push the new water seal into the head at a 45 degree angle. Make sure the grooves on the seal are facing the head of the pump. Reapply the manifold to the body. Make sure the head bolts line up. Place the bolts back in and torque to 221 inch pounds. To replace the unloader, start by loosening the head. With the front loosened, this allows the whole unloader to be taken off. To remove the seat, screw in a 5mm bolt into the unloader hole and pull. When putting in the new seat, screw it into the bolt and push back into the hole. Make sure the side with the o-ring is towards the center of the pump. Screw in the new unloader and securely tighten it to the pump. You may now re-tighten the front of the unloader. Do not tighten the front of the unloader too much or it will strain the threads that connect the unloader to the pump. Using a 13 mm wrench, remove the chemical injector. When removing, make sure the ball and the spring don't fall out.
When putting in the new injector, make sure that the ball goes in first, then the spring second. Retighten using a 13 mm wrench. Do not tighten it too much or it will strain the threads that connect it to the pump. To fix the easy start, take off the plug with a 14 mm hex socket. Take the ball and spring out of the pump. An old spring or corroded ball may cause pressure issues. Do not remove the seat in the back of the easy start. Seats within pre-built pumps are permanent. Put the new spring in the pump first, making sure that it's straight. The replacement ball goes on top of the spring. Put on the cap and tighten it back up.